No, assuming the sat-nav is working properly, I should shortly be arriving at the village of Warham Percy. Abandoned in the 1500s, it's one of the best-preserved medieval villages in the entire country. But it holds a secret so grisly, you're scarcely going to believe it. Warren Percy is on the western edge of the chalk wolds of North Yorkshire, about 18 miles northeast of York. It's remote and bleak, hidden away from the modern world. They tell me Warren Percy is the best preserved medieval village in Britain. But what we've got here, to my expert eye, is a field with nothing in it. Ah, Stuart. Clive, good Thank to you. you. Well, I've come here to look at Warren Percy. Yes. So where is it? Here. Even I can see the old church, but the rest of it is pretty much gone. And that's what most people would think, until you take a look at the site from above. Because from the sky, it's a different story, as the layout of the whole village suddenly becomes completely clear. Established a thousand years ago, this medieval village consisted of around 40 houses, two mills, two manor houses, a village green, and a church that's still more or less standing today. The presence of the church shows this was a substantial village filled with God-fearing Christians who lived, worshipped, and died here. In fact, by this time, the whole of Britain was Christian and had been for hundreds of years. So this was a thriving village, or people living here until when? Until about the 1520s. So, what, 500 years or so of uh, occupation as a village? Yes. So it must have been quite a nice place to live, otherwise people wouldn't have stayed here all this time. There are some rather darker finds. Of course there are. I knew there'd be a reason Mary Ann sent me here. Across from the church, outside the boundaries of the graveyard, archaeologists made a disturbing discovery. There is one find that we made, which was a pit, which was just here. Right. Which contained over 100 human bones. Hmm. Buried here. How many people? At least 10. So we're standing on the, the last resting place of 10 people. Yes, which is a bit strange because most people in the village, you would think, would be buried down in the churchyard. Yeah, we can see just the top of the church. Top of the church. Too. With a graveyard around it. Yeah. But some people buried here. Yes. It was thought at the time when this, when this pit was found in 1963 that it must be before the medieval period because we knew Romans were living nearby, so it could be prehistoric or Roman bones. And they might have just left their bones here. But as ever, it's not that simple. Some of them were radiocarbon dated and found to be medieval, when right. everyone should have been buried in the churchyard, not out here in the farmstead. The mist is coming up, just as you're telling me this, to make it feel rather, rather creepy. 